I welcome you to today's broadcast. We will be reading from the book of Numbers, chapter number 13. I will be referring to the whole chapter. Um, but I'm going to ask that you go, you go and read by yourself and for yourself. I'm just going to read a small portion of the chapter beginning from verse number 26 to verse number um, 30. Verse number 26 to verse number 30. When I read. They came back to Moses and Aaron. And the whole Israelite community at, at Kadesh in the desert of Paran. There they reported to them and to the whole assembly and showed them the fruit of the land. They gave Moses this account. We went into the land to which you sent us and it, it, it does flow with milk and honey. Here is its fruit. But the people who live there are powerful and the cities are fortified and very large. We even saw descendants of Anak there. The Amalekites live in the Negev, the Hittites, the Jebusites, the, Am the Amorites live in the hill country, and the Canaanites live near the sea and along the Jordan. Then Caleb silenced the people before Moses and said, We should go up and take possession of the land, for we can certainly do it. Now, uh, Moses and Aaron, they had been instructed by God while they were in the desert of Paran before they went into the land that God had promised them, the land of Canaan. He sent, he had been instructed by God to send spies to go and explore the land. And he chose 12 people, one from each tribe, one from each tribe of Israel. And among the people who are sent, was a, was a man by the name of Hoshea, who Moses renamed and called him, called him Joshua, the son of Nun. And among the, uh, who was a, he was from the tribe of Ephraim. And there was a man from the tribe of Judah by the name of Caleb. Now they went together with the other ten. And they went and explored the said, this land. And this passage that we read is the report that they brought back. Now I want to see, I want you to see uh, the, 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 the content of these two reports. The first report of the people, uh, the group of the people, was the natural circumstances in the land. They said, here is a fruit. The land is flowing with milk and honey. And you can see the fruit and you can taste it for yourself. But also, the, the cities are fortified. And the people there, they, they, we, we saw the descendants of Enoch. We saw the Amalekites. We, we saw the Amorites. We saw the Jebusites. We, see, we saw all these people. The, the natural circumstance. They saw the natural situation. The natural circumstance. How things were in a human perspective or from a human perspective but then Caleb silenced them and said let us go on and possess the land for we can do it this has nothing to do with the natural circumstance it has nothing to do uh, uh, with the way things were Caleb did not uh, care how things were, what he saw, uh, the people he saw there, all he cared about were two things. And the two things, they show not the natural thing, but the supernatural, uh, uh, the supernatural and the divine. It's, it's two things. He saw the promise, the promise of God. God had said, I will give you that land. The promise of God. And number two is the power of God. He had experienced the power of God. God had brought them from Egypt. He had delivered them from Egypt. And they had come all the way. They had the promise. And the, the, the promise was backed up by the power of God which they had experienced in the past. And so his report was divine. He said, yes, we can get we can get there. We 
have the capacity to do it because God is on our side. God has promised. God has promised. Let us go forth and possess it, he said, for we can well do it. Now, we always have people who give us reports. There is always that natural report, you know, based on the circumstances that people can see and people can reason about and, and, and people can uh, logically, you know, see. But there is also that other report that comes out of faith. The report that comes out of the promise of God. The report that comes out of uh, the power, the belief in the power of the Almighty God. Now, that is a report that Caleb brought. And now, I don't know your circumstances today. Maybe you are in a place where you, uh, or you can see uh, things surrounding you that don't really give you hope. Just like those people. They came and said, they, we don't have no hope. Those people, they look like giants. If you read the whole chapter, you will see the report that they brought. They say, those people, they look like giants. They are giants. We look like gr grasshoppers to them. We cannot do it. It is impossible. But the report of Caleb was different. He said, yes, we can go and possess the land. Because yes, we can. We are well able to do it. Because we have the promise of God. And we have uh, the power of God on our side. We have God on our side. And I want to tell you today, no matter what situation you are in, don't believe the natural report. Don't believe the natural circumstances. Don't go by what you can see. I can tell you, going by what you can see can land you in a lot of trouble. Ask a man by the name of Lot. He looked and saw the valleys were well watered like the Garden of Eden before God destroyed it. That's what the Bible says. And then he went and pitched his tent as far as Sodom. And you know what happened? God had to deliver him from Sodom and Gomorrah when he came to destroy the city. Going by what you see is dangerous. Going by by the, 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 the natural side, going by what makes sense, going by what is logical, it can get you in a lot of trouble. But the supernatural it has two things, the promise of God and the power of God. The promise of God backed by the power of God. What is it that you are going through today? Choose to believe the promise of God. Choose to believe and, 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 and count on the power of God. And there are so many promises that he has promised for you. And just one that he has said, it shall be well with the righteous. Haven't you read that one? It shall be well with the righteous. No matter what you're going through, believe on the promises of God. It shall be well with the righteous and the many other promises that God has promised in his word when you're gonna you have to go and look them up even as you pray pray in accordance to his promises that's what he wants pray in accordance to his promises because he has promised and he has the power to do it he is well able to do it he has a power he can do the impossible there is nothing that is impossible to him don't be discouraged by your current circumstances. Don't be discouraged by what you think will happen to you. Don't be discouraged because uh, you, you, you are hopeless. You are desperate. You are helpless right now. I want to tell you there is hope. He's on your side. And he has promised. And he will make it happen. Don't go by the natural. There is the supernatural. There is the divine which goes by the promise of God and by the power of God. Choose to believe that report, just as Caleb did. Thank you for joining me. God bless you. We'll meet again tomorrow.